I don't know how these military wives do it. And me being a military wife, I'm really trying to get into this role. Um, it's very hard and challenging for me. I'm not gonna say that it's easy. I do have some good no okay days where I'm like, hmm, it's cool. If I hear from him, I hear from him. If I don't, I don't. Um, but then there are some days when it's like, whoo, I'm on edge. Like, almost on the edge of crazy. YouTubers, it is December 1st, my birthday. Um, this birthday feels a lot different than all the other ones. Um, I think Daniel and I have been together for like three birthdays now. We've only had one actually together and um, The past two years, he's been gone on some kind of military orders for my birthday this year. He's on actual deployment for it. I would say that my feelings are probably just that of somebody who's very, very lonely, you know? And what's crazy is that, you know, I can make a post and say, oh, you know, today's not a good day, or I'm depressed, or I'm lonely. And then people want to use that, guys, when I say people, as an opportunity to be like, oh, well, I'm here if you need me. I'm like, that is not what I'm insinuating when I say I'm lonely. When I'm lonely, when I say that I'm lonely, I'm meaning that I need my person. You know, I need my people. I need... the one I can talk to and feel close and comfortable with and then when I don't have that or I can't experience that I get crazy sad so today today I turned 33 and it just honestly feels like another day it doesn't feel like um, a birthday. It doesn't feel like a celebration. I mean, my schedule for today, as you can see, I'm at work. Um, and then from here, uh, I have to take the boys to basketball practice. So there's that. And that'll be like two hours. This is what it's like when... Um, you know, you're raising nine kids and, uh, at this point when my husband's gone, you kind of start feeling like a single mom because the weight of everything is always on you. And in my situation, it's a little bit different because there are four other moms. So, you know, I don't have the kids all the time, but there are responsibilities that I have all the time. Um, I got to go pick up Bentley today and take him with my two boys to their basketball practice and take him back home and then finally go home. So that doesn't leave a lot for a room for me to be able to do something for my birthday. I have had several people message me and was like, well, I hope you enjoy your birthday or hopefully you have fun or be safe or be careful. And I'm like, not going anywhere to do anything you know um i think a couple people wanted to um do something after work today but i had to cancel it because we have basketball practice afterwards so you know i want my kids to be active and a lot of that means um you know 
putting and prioritizing their needs before my own. But I do kind of feel like if, I don't know how these military wives do it. And me being a military wife, I'm really trying to get into this role. Um, it's very hard and challenging for me. I'm not gonna say that it's easy. I do have some good no okay days where I'm like, hmm, it's cool. If I hear from him, I hear from him. If I don't, I don't. Um, but then there are some days when it's like, whoo, I'm on edge, like almost on the edge of crazy. And I know that probably sounds far-fetched and you're like, what? But sometimes I feel like I need to feel something, whether it's the attention that I was getting when he was home or the connection or the love that I was feeling when he was here. I need that. That's not something you can get from your children, no matter how much they love you. They can't make you feel that kind of love, you know. Um, so I really don't know how some people are able to stay single for years and years. I mean, more power to them, but I cannot. I could not imagine living my life alone or being lonely, because being lonely right now sucks. Man, it sucks so bad. Wanting to roll over and have somebody there to hold, and there is nothing there but a pillow. Wanting to um, have somebody to celebrate good and fun and exciting times with. There's nobody to do that with, you know? So, it's my birthday and I'm stressed the heck out. And um, I'm a little sad, I'm a little lonely. It's weird because I've been knowing my birthday was coming up for a while now. Normally I celebrate my birthday for up to a whole week before the actual day. <laughs> But it didn't really hit me till like this morning. And it's not because I'm 33. I am 100% okay with growing older. I feel like I've accomplished enough in my life um, as far as like having children and I've owned houses before and just, you know, I've done a lot in my 33 years. Um, so it's it's not like that, it's just, this not having a person to share your birthday with, stuff is getting old. And it's only been twice that this has happened, but it's already getting old. So, um, oh yeah, I did straighten my hair. Did that last night. Last night I was in a better mood than I guess I am today. I was um, wanting to be cute or whatever for my birthday. Sometimes they say if you um, look better, it helps you feel better. So I straightened my hair and then I woke up this morning and I couldn't shake this feeling. Yeah, so my hair is straightened, but the attitude is not. I gotta work on that. Um, I'm really aspiring to be one of these military wives I see on here on YouTube that really have their stuff together, you know, like they're busy and they're, but I think they're busy because a lot of them, you know, I'm seeing just from a lot of the YouTube videos I've watched, a lot of them don't have a nine to five like I do, you know, they're a stay at home mom. So they're able to make these cute and cool little videos and um, do things with the kids and go out for walks. And me, like, I teach full time, Monday through Friday. And then my kids are in sports full time, most of them. Um, so there's practices and then games. And then um, I work a second job and I edit these YouTube videos. Um, 
there's not a lot of time for me. Not a lot of time at all. Um, I try to do fun things with the kids when I have them and help them enjoy their time that they have with me, especially in their dad's absence. I try to make that transition, which is hard for me. This transition is hard for me. So imagining what it's like for a child, I try to make it as smooth as possible and make their time that they have with me fun and interesting. So that way they're having so much fun with their siblings that they're not having the time to think about how slowly the time is going. Cause it's been like 46 days and I think it's 46 days. And it feels like an eternity. And um, I don't know. So if you guys have any happy birthday suggestions, uh, or birthday suggestions, it's not that much happy, but <laughs> um, let me know. Maybe there's something that I can do. Um, I think I said on Facebook to somebody, um, I'd be happy just to have some spiked apple cider at this point. So I may end up doing that, um, but it is a weekday, so there's that anyways um just wanted to check in with you guys a lot of youtubers are doing vlogmas i don't know if it's something that i would be able to keep up with and actually do because we are just so busy um but i really want to try and make an attempt to so um posting this one up today and then hopefully we will record our gingerbread video for you guys and get that one up as well this week um but y'all keep me in your prayers i'm really trying here um but depression is real and you can't let it get the best of you you gotta figure out um what you can do to make yourself truly happy and um to not be sad every day that's not a way to live is to be sad every day um so i love you youtube fam don't forget to like and subscribe see you later don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until then, we're raising nine. See you next time.